Wake up everybody on that street there. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, adventurers, and welcome back to the Let's Go Road Trip. We're road tripping around Pennsylvania to its most haunted and abandoned places, and we're on day number two. Woo! Today we're going to the Laurel Hill Cemetery first, then out to Gettysburg, where we'll go to the Jenny Wade House, the Triangle Field, Devil's Den, and later tonight we're going to a children's orphanage, said to be in the top 10 scariest places of the ghost adventurers. Zach himself. Yeah. The real Zach. Last night, uh, we went to the Eastern State Penitentiary and the Hill Psychic, Psychic House and the City Tavern. And uh, after that, we went and we saw It, which was scarier than all the other three combined. So she we are... screamed in the theater. I did. We are collectively psyched for this trip. And we're looking out for Bill Skarsgård. Right, Nick? <laughs> I'm watching a guy feel crap. Bill Skarsgård. That's, uh, that's our new safe word for when we get scared. It's Bill Skarsgård. You'll know when I'm scared because I'll just fucking scream. Yeah, Devin was freaking out the most. So it should it be... fun. I went in with high expectations and she was crying at one point. I was not crying. I said I'm about to cry. Because every time he runs... He shakes like a child having a tantrum, so it freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good movie, though. I will give it that. Yeah. All right. Well, so it should be a fun day with lots of spooks. So we'll see you at the first location, the Laurel Hill Cemetery. I'm getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we do some kind of intro? Let's run Laurel, into traffic. Laurel Hill Cemetery. It's We're here. Dying. We almost died. A couple times. No. Derek's driving. <laughs> hey guys, we're finally here. Our first stop on day number two, the Laurel Hill Cemetery on Ridge Ave in Philadelphia. The most haunted cemetery around. And we're gonna go check it out. Oh, there it is. Hello. Went across this road first. You. Do you guys want to recount the story? Like a family almost died on this road. We were coming up, we didn't know that you couldn't go in here and park, so we had to turn around and make a UB, and then I was in the wrong lane trying to turn in here, and then I tried to turn in that parking lot, and we almost got sideswiped by a car. I'm getting a cool shot. Hold on, I gotta run back to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it even says right there, parking across the street. Whoa. Yeah, that's where we're Oh, hey, about. watch out. There is a, apparently you can get in there with a car, though. It's probably, like, for people that work here. That's part of the fun game to die again. Mm. I like how it says... <laughs> did you guys notice on that sign, though? What? It says that you can picnic and bring your, like, pets here. Why is there a fence around the cemetery? That's kind of odd. Oh. People are dying to get in. Oh, haha, ha, Maddie, you're so funny. Or, or. Oh, it's a museum. That's why there's some people in here. Or, do you know how many dead people are in a cemetery? I think we'll be all of them. All of them? 
<laughs> you want to laugh? <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> this is like so legit though, a cool cemetery. <laughs> we should also say, you know, um, their policy here is they don't mind filming as long as it's respectful. It's a very, it's a public place. It's a public cemetery. But like, they don't, like if anybody here was like grieving, they wouldn't want us to film that. And we wouldn't want to film that. We wouldn't just be like, yo, check that guy's sobbing in his dead wife's grave or something. That'd be very disrespectful. I mean, this is a really old cemetery too. Um, one of the weird things I was reading on the website is they don't allow grave rubbings. Just grave like when people, They'll take a piece of wax paper, and they'll pour it over like um, the tombstone, and oh, they'll rub no, it with charcoal, it. yeah. Because some of the tombstones here are so old, and people don't do it just for their relatives, they'll do it with, like old cool names or something. Apparently it's just like a thing people are into. But they'll, uh, it hurts the, the tombstone, you know, makes it wither away faster. Slow erosion and all that. Like, look at this. These people have, like, a huge walled-off section. Like, even in the afterlife, they wanted, like, a gate around their property being, like... We're better than everyone else, and it needs to be known. Keep off my lawn. This is, like, the best that you could get without going full mausoleum level. This is, like, how I would want a cemetery to be laid out. I'm always afraid of those cemeteries that are just like big blocked pieces of land that like, yeah, that um, that like you have to like walk through so many other graves to get to. Like this one, it's got these little paths, you know, kind of cut through every now and then. So it's like smaller little bite-sized sections. Bite-sized section of cemetery. Yeah, you can't beat the view. What? We can split up? Ooh, what is this? I don't know. But Derek's leaving us again. Well, Derek can bitch. What is a shield? That's cool. I like that. Yeah, coat of arms. Oh, that one, that looks like a skull again. A what? Skull. Yeah. Bug. Oh, it's got a little butterfly. Or maybe a moth. I don't think anyone is just like, you know what? I fucking love moths. I want them <laughs> on my tombstone. Yeah, what is that? Uh, maybe it's a cross? Oh, look at this little bench here. Your relatives can come by and like watch you uh, or sit with you for a while. Yeah, see like how those ones are like almost the words have like disappeared. But then again, they're on a hill. Holy Christ. Oh, that's crazy. Hills of the dead. And <laughs> zombies. <laughs> yeah. But it's a little zombies. Oh, that one's really cool. I'm sure that this place isn't taking any new uh, residents anytime soon. Any new recruits? Yeah. This is like crazy steps. Oh my god. We gotta check out this one right here. Now I don't know, there's probably lore to like which graves are haunted, like which ones you should stay away from and all that. I'm just gonna look out for all the creepy ass looking ones and this one, damn, look at that. You got like a jade, not jade, copper ass statue watching your grave. Look at this lady, she's like, I'm almost afraid like their demons or ghosts would possess this statue and just like, Murder whoever fucks with the people that are buried here. Ooh, this one's cool. I like that. And you know what I think about Nick? Can these really be haunted and can demons really come for you if like landscaper guys can be like that here every day, like driving over the graves essentially and loud ass machines? Well, Not I don't so like, much now. I, like, I literally try and figure out where the bodies would have been laid in accordance with the headstones and try not to walk there. I wonder if there's anyone famous buried here. I'm looking over... You see that? Maybe it's a sports announcer. Did, could that be Harry Cowles? This might be a little confusing. It oh, could be under the road. We don't know. 
They probably like dug it deep enough so it wouldn't be uncovered when they were paving. Maybe. I'm oh, seeing a lot of Elizabeths. Yeah, it's probably a common name. Elizabeth and Mary. Mm-hmm. So, uh, fun fact for you guys, I'm allergic to fresh cut grass. <laughs> Gives me a very bad this headache like as soon so as I smell nice, it. This is so nice though. Yeah, overlooking the shit. river. Rousseau. It is Harry Callis! Holy shit! Dude! We gotta pay respect to Harry Callis' grave. I feel kind of bad that we're filming it, though. Oh, but dude. dude. Has his, uh, his autograph on it. On the tombstone? Yeah, right here. Oh my gosh. Dude, shout out to Harry Callis. For anybody who um, is watching and isn't from Philadelphia... Harry Callis, Harry Callis was a sports announcer for the Philadelphia Phillies for like at least 20 years, maybe even longer, like, and he died in like 2010, and for the longest time, the Phillies had an HK on the, on the top right of their uniform um, to symbolize Harry Callis, and here he is. He was a veteran. He's here, he's here. I mean, well, in spirits, mostly. Like he played? No, he's a vet, U.S. veteran. And he's a veteran. Oh my God! Dude did it all. Praise to Harry Callis. This one has a weird statue. These must be newer. Guys. Twenty ten. I was talking about. It's that Harry one. Callis. And oh. Am I supposed to know who that is? Oh, Devin, do you know? Okay. It's the, he was a sports announcer for the Phillies. Well, somebody stepped on a flag. They, well, He's let me share known. a story. Um, at least from where we're from, every year the uh, Boy Scouts in Bucks County go around and they replace the flags in cemeteries. Because over the year, they, like, get blown away. So okay. I don't think anybody stepped on that. It probably just got withered away. Especially since, like, these ones look new. So that was probably, like, an old... It's all for all the U.S. veterans get flags oh, in there. Oh, got a little microphone. Pole. How cute. Yeah, because he was a sports announcer. Yeah, oh, don't Yeah, do how that. are you going to get past the concrete? It's marble. 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 I think it's on like a, a hinge. guide rail. Yeah. What, is this Scooby-Doo? Yeah. Well, no, it's got a keyhole. All right, yeah, Nick, get past it. this last one. Yeah, that one does. I didn't see the other one. The yeah. one that's literally walled up with huh. cement. Oh, and that, I, I get that people don't want them invading their graves, but I look at that and I can't help but feel like, did they do that to keep something in? Like, oh, that is something you see at the end of a horror movie. Like, they put the last brick and it's like, this this thing can't ever hurt this town again. What's that book? When the dude buries him in the basement, brick by brick. Cask of oh, Amontillado? Yeah, yeah. Ca Cask of Amontillado. I get I don't sad because like, sometimes... I don't think we should go that way. Why? There's an open mausoleum. Huh. Like some, like it makes me feel bad. Like some, like when I see small ones that like this. That one's got air holes. Why would it need air holes? Just in case somebody gets locked in and then they die. He's setting that up there to be like a shot. So who dares to go look inside the open mausoleum? I'm not going down those stairs and back up them. I'll go. I already have an asthma attack as it is. Me and Devin will go. Those stairs are like just steep enough that my lungs eh. are like, nope. I'm just taking it. This this right here is spoopy to me because you're like it feels Multiple like you're trapped staircases. and you're you're like I love how this surrounded one just comes by the from graves. Nowhere, so if you like, Maddie, I just keep, keep thinking about like zombie situations. Like this could be this part where like I step here and then like a zombie comes out and like <laughs> you guys have nowhere to run because there's steps and you get to the top of the steps there's another zombie. Don't Maddie. don't show the name of this one if you guys can help it because it's open. But it's uh oh man. Who wants to go step inside? Oh uh, Devin, you're brave. Alright, you gotta let us know if you feel any chills. Well it's definitely cooler in here. Well it's marble. Marble's a really good insulation. I'm ruining the effect. There's some walls. Do you hear any spooky ghosts? Or spirits. No, I just see like <laughs> trying to community communicate from the other side. 
too bad. Spider web. It's crazy just how like how it's open. Oh, there's something missing. <laughs> we shall not know. And we lived. Where do those steps go? I just took a header into a spider web, though. All right, crazy. Derek, we don't need you getting hurt. Yeah, we don't need to go to the ER on our first day. Derek. Don't you Derek. jump. Derek! You're the driver. This one's, like, private. You can't get Baby it. driver. Oh, this is private? Oh, cool. No, this is, like, that one. It goes all the way down to the street? Alicia Kent Kane, who had died at the age of 37. Born in Philadelphia, Kane was a prominent Hup. explorer Hup. of the Arctic. Yeah, I just did that. <laughs> uh, did you just fucking walk into that? Part of it. Addy, he walked into a big ass cobweb. <laughs> His writings after his expeditions influenced scientific and popular opinion on the polar region. Oh my god, and there's a thing down there. Oh, that's that's probably the spookiest thing here. It's like hidden and all off by itself. I officially declare you the winner, Mr. Kane. Like you have the coolest mausoleum, because like that is like that is the type of mausoleum where it would lead to like a whole underground network of like fucking tunnels to all the other mausoleums, you know what I mean? Like like, I, I thought this place was going to be, like, a normal cemetery. Just, like, oh, it's spooky because it's the biggest one in Philly. But, like, this is, like, the coolest cemetery I've ever seen. And I know that's a weird thing to say. Like, I don't know, Derek. I've been to a cool cemetery. I mean, before. much respect to all cemeteries. Like, but, like, this kind of stuff, like, oh, it's so interesting. I ain't afraid no ghosts. I ain't afraid of ghosts, because I, I don't believe in ghosts, but even if I did, I don't think that ghosts can, like, harm you. They can just be scary, you know? I've never heard of, like, someone getting killed by ghosts. People like, get possessed by ghosts, and they do weird things, but I've never heard, like, you know, oh, a ghost, like, cut me. It was like, no, I cut myself, and at that point is when I really don't believe about things, but... I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I'm more afraid of, like, zombies and, like... That weird leper thing from it that I didn't know was a leper until he said it. Dude, I was like crazy spooked. Oh, see, this is also one that's like definitely haunted. Definitely haunted. I'm moving on. I don't know if it's it or what, but I'm getting spooked. Is that poison ivy? Not everything's poison ivy. We really should have looked up to see the if anybody else was famous was buried here. It is, by the way! That's cool as fuck. This shot in particular right here, like this angle of all of these things on the hill, reminds me a lot of the opening shot of Night of the Living Dead. They're coming to get you, Bob. Yeah. Here comes one of them now. That's dangerous. He's a risk taker. Like your parents and your siblings. Like it's it's what, whatever you want. All right, wait, wait. You ready? Here, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow Maddie's mind right here. Guess what, Maddie? What? You already have a cemetery plot. No, I don't. Yay! Clap. No, I'm not being buried with your parents. It's just my dad and his parents. I want to be buried with either my family or my kids. Well, if all goes according to plan, everyone will be exhumed and put in a family mausoleum. But if not, my dad has already paid for plots that he thought he has three extra spots. They bought six because for his yeah, parents, they were planning. And then he thought, you know, it'd be him and my mom. And then they didn't work out. And he had one for me and my sister, which is kind of weird because yeah, we were like, like 10, 14 at the time. Like, first of all, like, you don't buy plots for your kids because your kids are going to go with their significant others. But still, it's three free plots. You know what my dad does, right? He goes to the cemetery and he lays in his spot. <laughs> he says, I'm practicing. 
<laughs> That's amazing. That's yeah. morbid as fuck. I'm gonna give a five on the spookometer just for the aesthetic. I didn't feel any chills. I didn't. I didn't really think any any ghosties were trying to get me. Partially because it's daytime, but partially also because I'd like to believe this is such a nice cemetery. I would find it hard to believe any soul isn't at rest living here. It's probably some dude who doesn't like a gothic aesthetic. <laughs> I'm sure, I, well, I'm sure there could be a few people who didn't want to die, but I'm sure the, they wouldn't haunt this place. They'd drift back to wherever they used to live to haunt that place. They'd look around and be like, oh, you know what, I don't have to ruin it for everyone. So I was making a joke. I was like, oh, since, since their name's here, do you think like this whole thing is supposed to be their tombstone? And Nick pointed out, every name has, or every tombstone has the same name. It's like, Except no. Except that one. <laughs> yeah. back there wow except like a whole plot of land so that's why the mausoleum has no name oh thank god that one's at rest <laughs> Wait, all right but i give it a five just off aesthetic mm -hmm. this is my aesthetic so it's not scary to me ah. it's not scary if but it came it's at definitely night, it'd be a little creepy yeah like it's spooky yeah derek it's like one of these yeah but they just have a lot more people. I'll probably give it like a six or seven. Cause like, especially because like, even though it's September, wait like, till October rolls around, We're everyone's gonna street. be like saying shit's going on in here, but. All right, let's sign off. Starting it's nice, I like it. All right, who's, who's we using? Well, I, I thought we'd stop. Oh, aren't we doing a, can we stop here? Yes, but not, okay. Bye, everybody. So that's all the time that we have for the Laurel Hill Cemetery because, well, we covered most of it. The rest of it just kind of all looks the same as the rest of it. Um, and uh, the battery is getting close to dying, so we got to get back to the car. And we got to get on our way to the uh, Jenny Wade House in Gettysburg. So we'll see you guys there. Bye. Bye. Let's go. Thank you.